Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we got a used John Deere Z665 I bought here. And uh, what I want to do is repair these grips. They just look pretty bad. But there's nothing wrong with them. They just look bad. So what I've done is I've ordered a set of these grips from John Deere. And uh, here's the parts. They're about seven bucks each. So for about 15 bucks, we're going to make these look pretty new. And I'm going to give you some ideas how to do that. All right, here's my plan, guys. I've got a bottle of tire lube. And all this is is dish soap and water that I use to find leaks in the tire. So I'm going to use that to help slide the new grip on. Got a razor blade, cut this old grip off, and I got my new part. And I'm pretty sure that's all I'm going to need uh, for this job. So all I'm going to do is just cut this old grip off. And I'm going to be careful not to go too deep. I don't want to cut into that paint. So I'm just going to keep the blade pretty, pretty shallow and just be careful and uh, just cut this, kind of rip it off. And that's it. I changed my mind, I'm gonna grab one more thing. I'm gonna grab some brake clean and a rag and just wipe this down just to get the old stuff off. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be back. All right. We're back. I uh, just got some brake clean in a rag here, and I'm just going to uh, wipe this down just a little bit just to get any of that old adhesive or anything that's on here off. And it didn't feel like there was much adhesive. I think it's just slid on there, and that's it. There's just a little bit of texture to this paint that kind of holds it on. All right, so we'll get our new part out. And as far as I know, these are not directional, so you can put it on either way. And uh, it's just gonna slide on there. So I'm gonna use this tire lube, and hopefully it's enough to help me get this thing to slide on. So, you know, shake it up. I don't remember how much soap's in it, just enough to uh, make it slippery. I'll get that on there. I'm gonna spray a little bit down inside this tube too. And what's good about this is the soap will kind of dry in the water, and then you won't have to worry about it. Just like that. And then I'm going to push it down to match the other side. Kind of just don't want it kinked. And uh, that's it. I'm going to grab a rag, wipe off this soap. And you got yourself... A nice new looking grip and I don't know what that take 10 seconds so yeah looks pretty good I would let it dry for an hour or two just to let that uh, let that water and that soap get it um, out of there because if not this is gonna slide around on you so just let that dry real good and that that uh, water will evaporate the soap will just disappear and it'll kind of just stick in there so that's it I uh, should make this look pretty nice and new with like I said almost minimal cost about 15 bucks and your grips look brand new. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side the exact same way. All right, guys, here's the other side. Again, take your razor blade, just kinda slice this a little so it rips right off. That's it. Clean it up with some brake clean. All right, got our camera back, sorry about that. So, uh, gonna grab our other new grip, right here. Do the same thing. I don't think I need as much uh, water as I did on the last one. I'm gonna put towel here just cause it kinda dripped on the last one. So I'll stick towel down at the bottom and uh, just hit it a couple times. Put three or four sprays on the inside. Actually, I'm gonna hit it on this side too. Slide it on there. There you 
go. Boom. Looks good. So yeah, that's it. 15 bucks. Looks like brand new. Personally, I would have done this before I sold it used, but uh, I bought it, so I guess <laughs> he didn't really need to do that to sell this used. But they look uh, a lot better. And here's the other side. The other side's starting to dry and uh, looks really good. So yeah, that's, that's what it looks like with brand new grips on it. Next thing I'm gonna do is scrub this seat real good. And uh, another video I got that I'm gonna do here soon is one of my springs is broke on the um, suspension. So if you wanna check out a video on that, I'm gonna make one of those also.